Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a belated birthday book haul. This is from my birthday in February. It is like March 16th when I'm filming this, so it has been quite some time, but I have a ton of books that I received for my birthday, and this is really going to be probably my last book haul for quite some time, if the last one I do at all for this year, just because I have a really long TBR. I'm kind of in a book slump right now. I haven't read a single book this month and I just kind of want to focus more on what is on my shelves than continuing to purchase books. I have gotten a little bit better about like my book buying habits. Um, I t typically tend to go more thrifted or used secondhand books as opposed to just buying a brand new book because if I buy the book and then I don't like it, I wasted all that money so this is a pretty lengthy haul so i'm gonna get started um with what was gifts from family okay so the first gift i received was from my brother and uh he actually got me both of these things so he got me the edition of it by stephen king that i've been wanting to read um this book is really long it's not the longest book that i am reading but it is pretty long. Um, so he got me this. If you guys don't know, it's a book by Stephen King about a clown. I don't know. I just started reading Stephen King this year, so I figured I would start with it. And I haven't seen any Stephen King movies, so I'm pretty new to that as well. And then also this crew neck. Um, it is a read-on shirt with some really cute graphics. Very Scooby-Doo vibes from this um i will have the channel that created it linked down below um the channel name is slanted spines and i found her through a discord server for elias's book club um the late night book club it's not just elias's i know i keep saying that but elias is just the youtuber that i watch the most so uh, it is i believe elias fictional fates and then noelle gallagher are the three channels that run the book club um and i found this girl through that server and i sent the link to my brother and he got it for me for my birthday so thank you garrett um if this book or er, if this bookish sweatshirt is still available um i'll have it linked down below if not i will have her channel linked down below because it is beautiful okay and then from my brother i got the hate you give by angie thomas we got this at a used bookshop we went for my birthday and i picked it out and i'm really excited i still have not purchased concrete rose yet which i want to read before the hate you give um but i'm really excited about this one so thank you grant all right now i have books that were from friends or that i just got around the time of my birthday so the one book that i bought for myself for my birthday like full price and everything was The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. So this is all over the book community for like a contemporary romance because I believe the movie is coming or has come out um, with Lucy Thorne? Lucy Hale, sorry. Lucy Hale. It's by Sally Thorne. Um, but I'm really, really excited. This is, like I said, a contemporary romance and we are following two rival publish publishing companies or publicists at publishing companies and i'm super excited and i love the colors we match <laughs> then from my friend dania i got the book outlander by diana gabaldon this is the first book in the outlander series which is like a historical fiction romance kind of deal um we are set in the scottish highlands in 1943 is when the story begins and we like have time travel elements that bring us back to the 1700s so it is a tv show i have watched pretty much all of the seasons out because i love outlander it's one of my mom and i's favorite shows to watch together and i want to read the book because the chemistry is off the charts i love it then from my dear dear childhood friend brenda she got me a court of silver flames by sarah j mass she came to visit me and i actually got her hooked on the akatar series so she knew i was so excited for a court of silver flames to come out it came out right around my birthday and i have mixed 
feelings. I've not yet talked about it in a wrap up, but it was good. I don't regret reading it. It was not my favorite Sarah Day Mass book, but I'm interested. I'm really, really looking forward to the next book, which I'm hoping is Asriel's story. I don't know. I'm, I'm really interested though. And then the other two books were just um, special editions that I got in the mail around the time of my birthday. Um, these were both from March. So my March book of the month pick was The Last Apothecary by Sarah Penner. If you guys saw my most anticipated releases of 2021, uh, I talk about this book. So if you want to hear more about it, check out that video. But I absolutely am so excited about this book. Hopefully it will pull me out of my reading slump. Basically, if you guys are into true crime, think of Julia Tafana, the Aqua Tafana story told again. That's really what this is. And then I also have the collector's edition, the special collector's edition of Chain of Iron by Cassandra Clare. It's beautiful. It really is. And I'm so excited. This is the second book in the Last Hours series by Cassandra Clare. We are following the children of the Infernal Devices characters. So really excited about this one. And then the rest of the books I have to show were all thrifted. So some of these were formerly library books. Some of them were just like new at the thrift store, that type of deal. So we're going to go through them and I'm really excited. So the first book is The Snowman by Joe Nesbo. This is a psychological thriller mystery novel. We are following a string of serial killings where the murderer kills women and then builds a snowman outside kind of as his signature to leave behind for the detectives sounds pretty good to me next i picked up this beautiful little copy of ready player one by ernest klein this is a book set not too far in the future from where we are. We are in 2044 and we are following Wade Watts. Um, reality has become not the best, so the society that they are living in has become really immersed into online virtual reality. So, well, virtual reality. I'm not sure if it's online necessarily, um, but yeah, it's a virtual utopia known as Oasis and Wade Watts is kind of killing it in this Oasis. I don't know much else. But I'm really excited and it is like cult classic favorite science fiction for a lot of people. The next book is Sky in the Deep by Adrian Young. I'm so excited. I found such a beautiful, perfect, pretty much almost brand new copy of this book. We are following a girl. It's very much about like Vikings and clansmen and this girl is on the battlefield alongside her clansmen when she finds her brother fighting for the enemy's side, a brother who she thought was dead. So this sounds so interesting. I actually saw this book recommended on um, TikTok by Money Reads. I, when I found this copy, I was so excited because she talks about this book so highly. It's like one of her favorites. So I'm really excited. Hopefully again, it will get me back into YA fantasy. All right, the next few books I'm gonna talk about were all recommended by Larry and Kat. Um, Paperback Dreams is Kat's channel and Larry, her father, always has great recommendations. So um, these were some of his and hers. So the first book is Dead Wake by Eric Larson. This is one of Larry's faves and it is a historical recount of the sinking of the Lusitania. So I feel like the Titanic is a very well-known famous sinking. The Lusitania is another sunk ship. The next is Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds. Again, this was another recommendation from Paperback Dreams channel. And this book is told over the span of 60 seconds, I believe. And we are following um, a boy who is seeking vengeance on his brother's murderer. And that's all I know. That's all I'm gonna share. That's all I wanna know. But it sounds pretty interesting that it's only told over 60 seconds. 60 seconds, seven floors, three rules, one gun. That's the little blurb. Next is The Troop by Nick Cutter. This was recommended by Kat. This is a horror novel about a Boy Scout troop who goes on a retreat and they see some pretty nasty gnarly things on their camp trip. <laughs> Again, that's all I know. That's all I need to know. And the final book that was recommended from either Larry or Kat is The Devil All the Time by Donald Ray Pollock. I believe this was recommended by 
Larry and he was also talking about another book by Donald Ray Pollock, which I think is called Knock 'em Stiff. I don't know. <laughs> but um, this was recently adapted into a Netflix movie with quite a few pretty well-known actors, I believe. Robert Pattinson was in it, Tom Holland, maybe um, Woody Harrelson? Woody Harrison? The guy from Zombieland? Um, I can't recall if he was in this or not, but... It is just the story of a small Midwestern town where there's a lot of stuff going on. Some serial killers, some shady pastors, the whole nine. And I'm very excited. I grew up in the Midwest and I love the copy I found. It's beautiful. All right, we're getting down to the final few. I've got some romance wrecks here. Um, first one being The X Talk by Rachel Lynn Solomon. This is a podcast called The X Talk where two exes give like breakup advice or advice just on relationships on what I guess they could have done better, what went wrong, why they won't get back together, what each would need to change, who knows. Um, but the people aren't actually exes. There are two people pretending to be exes. Maybe. I don't know. I've heard so many people give so many different descriptions of this book. And I could just look up the Goodreads, but where's the fun in that? So, I'll let you guys know. And then... I'm so excited. Take a hint, Danny Brown by Talia Hibbert. Um, if you guys saw my 24 hour reading vlog, that was the last time I've literally read. Like, that was the last reading I did. Um, I finished Get a Life, Chloe Brown. Absolutely loved it. Five out of five. So good. I love Talia Hibbert's writing style, the way that she writes characters, and the romance that she develops. I love it. So I found this library copy, how fun, um, of Take a Hint, Danny Brown. It's a little sticky. Um, depending on my feelings for it, I might actually go out and buy, like, a solid copy because... I kind of destroyed it when I took off the library binding. I know that grow up, no, get a grip, grow up quick, grow up quick, Eve Brown, that's so not it. Eve, babe, I'm sorry, but Eve Brown's book, The Youngest uh, Brown Sister, just came out in um, on March 9th, I think actually. So I need to read this really quick because Eve was my fave. A lot of comedic relief around her. So I was really, really, really excited for Eve's story, but I wanna read Danny's first. All right, and we're down to the final few books. I've got On Earth We're Briefly Gorgeous by Ocean Wong. Elias, I blame you. Um, <laughs> this is a story of immigration and Vietnamese heritage and culture. We are following the letter written from a son to his mother, I believe, uh, who cannot read. Um, I don't know if she just can't read English or if she is illiterate. Um, I'm not sure, but I will, I will be reading. And then the final book is probably one that I'm most excited for and this is The Butterfly Garden by Dot Hutchinson. Uh, Hutchison? Hutchison? Um, this is the story of a butterfly collector and this butterfly collector has a beautiful garden, a beautiful estate, and his collected butterflies are kidnapped young women that he then tattoos these very intricate detailed butterfly wings on their backs and releases them into his garden. Yowzas! Um, I'm really excited to read this book. I may or may not have heard Stephanie Sue rant and rave about this book and i'm so excited and i'm so excited so that is the final book glad we ended on that note um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you're all having a great day and as always i will see you guys in my next video bye